Hey everyone, welcome back. We have another replay review today, one that Corsair sent me, specialized in the P1101. And this was an interesting game for him, and he wanted to have it looked at in terms of the fact that it's an all-bot battle, which you can see here. Uh, he's in a flight, he's specialized, F-84F is no slouch as an aircraft either. Um, and yet they, they struggled with it. And um, so we're going to watch and see. I'm not an expert on bomber escort. I'd be the first to tell you that. Um, I don't have nearly as much experience in this mode. But we'll just look at, you know, I don't know so much about strategy, but tactics-wise, we could kind of look at some of the things that are happening um, and see what comes up with it. I think they just called... Um, yeah, okay, so uh, first thing I would say, I've been told, I don't know if this is true or not, you can see down there in the chat, uh, it called for it to engage the attack flight. I've been told that's not a good strategy um, because essentially your planes ignore the other airplanes and sacrifice themselves to you know, hit the bombers. And there isn't a time and a place for that, but this might not be it, especially with bots who don't do nearly as well, you know, kind of figuring out what's going on. Uh -oh. So this plane, by the way, uh, while we're doing it, uh, you can see it's sort of a split build. There's a G-suit, um, lightweight wing frame, uprated engine, uh, and that was an F-86 immediately right off the bat, right? Um, and F-86s are a pain, especially since the buff. Um, so we're gonna have to wait for a respawn. All right, Piccolo is here, and his F-84F. He's circling the other sector. I don't know if he came in over here. He's just defending on that side. Um, it's interesting. In terms of a divide and conquer, maybe? Yeah, it looks like he just went over that way. I would go ahead and get involved in the fight, um, even if that's one of you going low and one of you going high. Um, you know, because Piccolo could be down there with his multi-roll, chopping up ground attackers, trying to keep some AA guns in the air. Um, this time, we make the decision to go right for the F-86, right, uh, tackle it immediately. Um, downsize the F-86 just finished an engagement. So, all right, we decided to come off of that and shoot at these guys. Another bomber down. We're relatively safe right now. Is that I-286 pointed towards us or away from us? It's going away from us. So yeah, um, and then you got the key 162 there, which you can always speed out away from. Okay, so you know the bombers are still fairly far out. They're 5,000 meters from target. You know, with these guns, you can one pass uh, a bomber, right? You've got one almost dead anyway. I might dive on these guys. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, 211 is definitely the more dangerous of the two there, right? Um, the key, again, it's a turn fighter, it's a Japanese turn fighter, and I, I explored this in my video, but I think um, people don't think about them as zeros, so they don't treat them like zeros, but essentially it's a zero, right? Um, you know, the turn times are higher than a zero would be, but all the turn times, all the 360 times are up as you go up the tiers because the planes are faster, so. All right, so still two over there, and we're hoping our bots can get them one. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that, I don't think. I think this is the right move. Uh, a little far to open open fire with these guns at 800 meters. So the, the game always tells you you can open fire before you can actually open fire. Um, with these, I tend to wait to like the 600 meter mark, at least the 700 meter mark before I start opening up, especially you know, given that they overheat so quickly. Another one down. And we still have, we have nine over in that flight. And, oh, we're getting tonked by an, uh, the, you know, the oddball other German light fighter, the 252, uh, with its two 30 millimeters. So this is a good time to evade. You can obviously outturn the 252, especially in this hybrid build you got going. Uh, that's just not, you know, didn't didn't necessarily know that was what was on you maybe, or, or not respecting the bot pilot enough there. Uh, or maybe he was, you know, you were actively maneuvering, he was just on you. But it happens. This is a, a mode where everyone dies, right? <laughs> Even people who don't die a lot are going to die a lot in this mode. So. Let's see the 
spot doing the loopsies there. All right, now nah, we're up and rolling. Not too much of a concern here about getting those last six. Again, you, know, you might drop down and clear some of these guys just for score purposes. Yeah, you know, or some of those F90 is a good, good one. to get rid of, good. We've kept it fairly even too, like your 47 spawns, they've got 55, that's a good sign too. You're not blowing spawn blue willy nilly. For me. Still got five in that flight. You got the A262 on him. I probably let the bot finish him and go down here and handle these guys while the bot's, bot's doing business up there. I wouldn't worry about the bomber at this point. Your AA guns are already shot to hell, so. Uh, best just to go clear out some bombers. And you've got the speed to get down there pretty quickly. So. You see, this is, uh, this is why bomber, you know, bomber mode is even more difficult to understand than regular conquest mode. But, you know, this is the equivalent of basically kind of killing, um, killing a bot outside of a zone, right? Um, this sector is not going to be back online for another 18 seconds. Um, you're flying into three enemy aircraft, right? And you got these guys down here as well. Um, I'm not sure any of them are going to come up or be able to catch you, but it's just something to be aware of. You're going to take down a bomber that's going to respawn, um, uh, you know, essentially fairly close to this zone anyway. So you can see where the respawn is versus this, right? So if we kill him right here, it's not really, it's not really delaying him that much. Um, I'd maybe worry about some of these guys down here. Yeah, especially the I-211 wanting to eat you for breakfast there. Yeah, good good choice. Uh, keep moving, right? Yeah. Even though this, this is spec for turn build, you know, I'm still not sure you want to turn fight in it unless you have to, right? It's just sort of an, an edge you have. And I'm not sure that your stats are necessarily lower than the key, even at specialized and bots cheat, so who knows? Best to, best to do what you did there, extend. I would have extended maybe into another plane though, right? Uh, looks like you're headed on to, uh, or maybe just extending extending that uh, range there. But yeah, I would have maybe extended into the 211 and, and knocked him down. Again, 800 meters. Eh, I mean, you're gonna do a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. You're kind of outside the effective range, right? And, and again, same same thing. While we're chasing this guy, there's three ground attackers just shredding the AA guns over here, right? And your partner is just respawned, so he's not able to, to deal with that, right? So. And if a, if a bot does get on you, like there's a concern, I think maybe, oh, hey, these bots are gonna get on me and do something. Pull them up into the vertical, um, especially with the turn build, you should be able to out turn most of them, especially that Bach Wolf. So tight circles are your friend there. But if you pull them into the vertical, they have a hard time, especially down here in the cliffs. They just, you know, their, their uh, flight guidance doesn't account for that uh, third dimension nearly as well. Yeah, just taking a scan to see what all is going on here. So far, we've, we've let three bombers through, so we have to be aware of that. We haven't kept a, quite a clean sheet. Uh, you're turning away. I, I'd be tacked out. I'd be, again, I'd be on these guys. They're moved on to the other AA sector now, right? So now you've got to manually shoot down all 11 of those bombers because they're going to have that puppy cleared out with the three of them plus the bombers moving over there. Um, you know, clearing out a multi-roll is not necessarily going to do a whole lot for you. And these guys, like, here's the other thing. These guys, I think the map is, is the map screwed up at this point? Maybe not. So these guys are on a line to your spawn. So I know you're worried about killing them, but they're still fairly early on the map, and you have a respawn directly over their flight path. So um, I wouldn't be too worried about knocking these gents down right now. Uh, you know, I might clear out a couple more of the escort aircraft, or really just get a, let them get further from their base because you're right over their respawn point. So any, anything you kill that's an escort fighter is just gonna respawn right there on top of you, right? So yeah, right move here to leave, definitely. Uh, just get out. And, and honestly, I would I would go save your AA zone and then come back to these guys. You got time. They're still 10,000 meters from target. And again, the, the further away they get from their spawn, the harder it is for their bots to cover and the easier it is for you to wipe out that cover and the easier it is for you to just, you know, 
know, shoot down the bombers in an uninterrupted fashion. I like attacking top down like this on the bomber flights. I also like coming up from the bottom, which is one of the reasons why I don't think it's a big deal to go after the ground attack, because when you come up, you get the same attack angle. You got that wide angle from underneath, right? Uh, I, I would be leery of going head on with the F-86. Yeah, especially when you're outnumbered, right? So the mini map there, we're outnumbered and we're next to another the other bomber flight, right? So. You can turn with them, especially specialized, but is it your best strategy? No, probably not. Uh, there's there's others that would work better. And now you're having the, now you're engaging the bomber flight. You know, it's just you and the FJ-1, but the FJ-1's out of range, so you're taking all five of these turrets yourself when you're low on HP. Right? Thankfully, they don't do a whole lot, but... It's a rather long extension. Um, I need to back it up and watch it, but it felt like it was more than a thousand meters. Um, and then, yeah, F-86 key, taking a two-on-one at low health is hard. And see in the background there, you know, in this, in that parameter, you shot down what one or two bombers, and what, and they've cleared out an AA zone, and they've got plenty of those guys coming in. See how easy it is to kill them over here. Look. One, two, three, you have five planes over here and none of theirs because theirs are having to respawn from all the way back there. So there's something to be said for engaging the bomber flights too early. And I think that may be you know, something to look at in terms of uh, how you're playing the battles. And, and again, you're spawning right here. So no biggie, you're, you're right there to kill them, right? They, uh, you have every advantage in that um, and they don't. Okay, again, there's only three of those bombers left. You've got some bots over there. I know it sounds weird to say, but trust your bots. Knock down some of these guys, right? Clear out some of these ILs and ground attackers here. Uh, did, I'm not sure if you didn't see the F-86 or if you wanted to engage or draw him in. Um, probably just didn't see him, I'm guessing. Uh, it's hard to have your head on a swivel and this match feels more crowded. It's not, it's, I mean, it's, you know, what, same, is it the same number? Or is it, it might be more? Hold on, I'm looking one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's 12 on 12, so it's not any more crowded, but it feels more crowded, maybe just because people aren't spread out from sectors, right? There's batches of folks flying around. Um, and in this case, you can respawn right on top of them. I would have changed to the northern spawn. There's no, re there's no need to spawn down here. There's nothing you can do, right? If you had spawned over there, you could be taking out those last three guys. So, and if you are going to spawn over here, you should be headed for the AA guns. Again, wipe these three ground attackers out, you know, save the AA guns, and uh, by the time that, you know, this flight gets over the, the uh, AA sector, you'll be able to do some kind of secondary damage to them from the guns. I do like the gaining of altitude, uh, especially if your you know, goal is to engage the other bots or the bomber flight, either one. So I don't mind taking time to gain altitude, but yeah, I think this is this is the right way to go and the best thing to do. Yeah, they're moving away from you. I, I, yeah, you, you made the right call breaking off on that chase. L40P is coming in. No? Okay. This one? Yeah, that's fine. You could, oh, you could have gone in. You could have gone all the way into the bottom on that one, right? Um, but you're back out again. Yeah, I, I'd spend a little more time on GAs. That's my two cents. But I just, like I said, I'm not a master of, of strategy from this one, but that's what I would have done there. Uh, I think this is probably a good call. You do have guys coming in on your six, though, looking at the mini-map there, right? Right. Here, this one. Whatever that one is, it's not showing up yet, but he's coming in. You're chasing him. You at least got this one coming in on you. And he's, there's, from the, it looks like he's vectoring directly. Oh, it's the, it's the key, yeah. So the key's vectoring absolutely to you. So head on a swivel with that, because he's gonna try and come up and get you. 
I finally broke off. Yeah. All right, you're letting your bots handle that one. Prioritize the 211. I would agree with that. Especially it's the back target one and two, it's deadly. And you can fire on the 262 as you turn around, but I would come back and finish this guy off. Yeah, there you go. Then you can deal with the 262. Yeah, you're very close to their spawn there. This is what I'm talking about. Like, look. You're, you're attacking the flight where they have the advantage. They're going to respawn very quickly, and when you respawn, you have to start back at the other side of the map. So, And that other the other flight up there still has five planes in it, right? So that's scary because um, you've got two bots down there, but can they wipe out five more planes? And you've only got four slots left, right? You're almost staring down a loss right there. Sector's gone, so they've captured it. So now no AA. You're gonna have to shoot down all these guys manually, and you, you, know, you can do one at a pass, but that means you still got to make ten passes, right? What are your odds of getting through that unmolested? So, and there's still three back here, and you got four uh, four hit points left, right? So, you got one. Can they get one? Nope. Lost two more. So now, right, ten, 10 planes left. We gotta kill eight of them. This is the other reason I, I say use a belly attacks. Because either these two, these heavy fighters have to come right down on the deck to engage you, uh, which they're less likely to do, right? Um, and you can certainly outmaneuver them more easily there. Um, or they just don't come after you at all, right? So. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Wrong key. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you were fighting that, that guy over his spawn. So look, he just came right back. Uh, the key just came right back behind you. So This one, at least we've got some AA backup. That's good. Maybe Piccolo was doing some work over here. I mean, this is one where I clear. You had the 262 dead to rights. Like, just go ahead and clear him because he's got to go all the way back to the start. Right? And so it takes him longer to get there and engage. It's good to have him out of the fight anyway. I would have gone more vertical. You looped around behind him, which is where the tail gunners are. I'd go straight up and then come straight back down. You can't see it, but I'm making hand motions at my desk. <laughs> it's definitely not. I should maybe put my picture up there so I can do hand motions. Who knows? Um, I think we're feeling more comfortable now. All right. Um, you only have to knock down two more, three more of these to survive, but they're getting close, man. I, this is the part where I, this is where I would engage the bombers immediately, right? And if I lose a plane, I lose a plane. Because um, you got 1,800 meters before game over, and you got to kill two, mo two of them, right? So, you're doing all the right things. I think you're just, it's a matter of timing. And Piccolo's over here, too. Yeah. I mean, they're probably going to get one more, but I, I'd be nervous about this. Like I said, you're doing all the right things. I'm just not sure about the order in which they're being done. Oh, and that's, yep, yep, that's going to cost you the match right there. Did one of them not get through? One of them did not get through, I guess. Look at that. So AA glitch, who knows? Uh, Corvus and I had the same thing happen if you watched the last video, our wild first battle. Two of the guys that got through did not get through. We don't know if it was AA or a glitch in terms of represent, you know, seeing what, what we saw on the screen or what. But, you know, now there's there's uh, plenty of respawns left. You're good. You're all good here. So victorious, 31,000 point fight. So you know, I don't. In terms of the fight and the battle, you know. 
the reality is if if it weren't for the glitch, you should have lost this match, right? So take the victory for sure. Um, maybe just play a little. One of the things that happens to me um, when I first played bomber mode is I panicked. I got uptight, um, and the game moved really quickly for me. And in con that's certainly true for Conquest the first time you play it, or any game the first time you play it, if you're especially if you're passionate about it. But the slow the game down a little bit, right? Slow it down. you got plenty of time to catch those flights. Do some of the secondary stuff and then engage the bomber flights rather than engaging the bomber flights and then try to do some of the secondary stuff. Um, and that will help you to engage the bomber flights later on. That would be my two cents. Um, in terms of actually flying and, and, you know, the actual takedowns of things, you know, outside of having to tangle with an F-86 Sabre, which is, you know, a dicey proposition, that's a really good tier 10 light fighter. Um, then, yeah, I, I think in you know, that one you didn't necessarily, it wasn't necessarily your choice to always engage with that guy. I think you made the right decisions tactically in the in the engagements you were in. I think maybe strategically you might want to shift your focus and priorities a little bit. And although, you know, altitude is king, this uh, the odd thing about ground bomber mode is there's a lot of times you want to play on the deck. And, and so speed is, is, of course, a great element in this game to get across the map, but climb rate is too. Um, and these light fighters, especially the German, have great climb rates. So um, all the energy fighters do, and that, that climb rate holds steady across altitudes. Um, so it's really not a big big chore for the 1101 to be hunting a ground attacker on the deck at 100 meters and then you know, boost up to 1,500 meters to deal, or whatever it is, or 2,000 meters to deal with bombers. And, and as you're doing that, you're underneath them, you get, you get the broadside cross section, easy to knock one down on your way up and then just loop it and maybe maybe get a second one or you can move to the escort fighters or whatever. So well played match, great score, 14 enemy aircraft destroyed, six with assistance, you got one of the bombers. You know, nothing to sneeze at here and I'm sure that paid well and was great XP. And obviously this is gonna work towards, you know, those boxes um, for, um, for the Gathering Storm event as well. So well played on a tactical level, maybe slow the game down a little bit on a strategic level. Um, and uh, and thank the airplane gods that uh, bomber number two didn't count when it went through. Like uh, so just and I'd do the same thing for mine too, so I get it. But Corsair, great match. Thanks for sending the replay. Definitely enjoyed it. Um, I, I think uh, you got some good pilot skills going on here. Um, and uh, you know, if anybody else wants to send me replays, you're more than welcome to. I'm happy to take a look at them and see what I can see strategically or tactically about what's happening in the match. Um, and hopefully uh, point out all the things you're doing well so that other people can also do them well. You know, some of Corsair's extensions and escapes were excellent here, and, and he worked often in the vertical with his loops and things, and I've talked a lot about the importance of those, so well done there. And then also, you know, if there's anything that can be done better, like we talked about, you know, slowing the match down here, target priority, uh, we'll talk about those too. So it's, you know, me doing replays is not about bashing anyone. It's about, about lifting up anything that I can to, you know, help other pilots do well what you already do well. And then also to maybe help out, help untangle some of the difficulties in, in whatever match that you send me the replay for. So Corsair, thanks for sending this one and being open to feedback. And uh, as I said, if you want to send me one, hit me up on Discord. Uh, or here on YouTube, and I'll be happy to take a look at it. Um, and uh, I am going to do a third video for you guys this week, which will be awesome. So you will have a bonus video this weekend. Look forward to showing you that. There will be a War Thunder video in the near future. Unfortunately, it's on hold because I'm having trouble with hitches. So I'm recording my War Thunder matches, and it's hitching and getting pauses, and it, it's not good. So i got to figure that out before I can get you a, a quality video for those. But that is in the hopper as well. So you all have a great time this weekend uh, with the upcoming, uh, you know, second weekend of the Gathering Storm stuff, um, and uh, hope you uh, have a chance to grab that Tempest and work towards it. And don't sneeze at the F-82 and the Kerr First and the Spitfire Iron Maiden, all three in the shop right now. So, uh, you know, if you want to pick up one of those, they're all three pretty pretty solid aircraft. So there you go. All right. Corsair, again, thanks. The rest of you, thanks for being here. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content, and uh, let me know what I can be doing to help you in the skies. Catch you next time.